moving on to first question show that in right angle triangle the hypotenuse is the longest side now moving on to the solution let us consider a right angle triangle abc which has right angle at b and now ac will be our hypotenuse here in the question let us not only given information we assume that abc is right angle triangle with angle b is equal to 90 degrees and ac is hypotenuse here we are required to prove that hypotenuse that is nothing but ac is longest side now let us move on to the procedure in a triangle we know that sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees we can write angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle a plus however we assume angle b as 90 degrees as this is right angle triangle plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle a plus angle c is equal to 90 degrees in the given we have that angle b is equal to 90 degrees so which will be equal to angle b here finally we got a statement that angle b is equal to angle a plus angle c so here we can write that angle b is always greater than angle a and angle b is also always greater than angle c by this we have a concept that side opposite to greatest angle is greater here we can say that the side opposite to angle b is ac greater than the side opposite to angle a is nothing but bc and and the side opposite to angle b is ac which is greater than the side opposite to angle c here is ab so now we can write that ac is greatest of other two sides therefore we prove that hypotenuse in a right angle triangle is greater than other two sides moving on to second question in figure 7.48 side ab and ac of triangle abc are extended to points p and q respectively also angle pbc is less than angle qbc then show that ac is greater than ab now moving on to solution let us note down the given information here he has given that angle pbc is less than angle qcb and later he asked us to prove that ac is greater than ab so now we are required to prove that ac is greater than ab now moving on to procedure in order to prove that ac is greater than ab if we are able to prove that angle b is greater than angle c then we can easily say that sides opposite to the greater angle will be greater and ac will be greater than ab in order to prove that let us consider the given condition that angle pbc is less than angle qcb here we know that angle abc and angle pbc form a linear pair and 
we know that sum of angles that form a linear pair is equal to 180 degrees. We get angle ABC here as 180 degrees minus the exterior angle PBC. So we can write angle PBC as 180 degrees minus angle ABC which will be less than and similarly we get angle QCB as 180 degrees minus interior angle ACB. Now by rearranging the terms in the equation we get 180 degrees plus angle ACB will be less than 180 degrees plus angle ABC. Now by subtracting 180 degrees on both sides of the inequation we get angle ACB is less than angle ABC which implies the side opposite to angle ACB is AB and side opposite to angle ABC is AC. Here we got AB less than AC which is nothing but AC is greater than AB which is we required to prove. Now moving on to the fifth question. In figure 7.51, PR is greater than PQ and PS bisects angle PQPR. Prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. Now moving on to the solution. Let us note down the given information that is PR is greater than PQ and PS bisects angle QPR. So as PS bisects angle QPR, we can say that angle QPS is equal to angle SPR. Now we note down the given information and let us note down what we are required to prove. He asked us to prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. Now moving on to the procedure. By utilizing the given relation that PR is greater than PQ and by applying the concept that angle opposite to the smallest side will be smaller and angle opposite to the greatest side will be greater, we can get a relation between angle Q and angle R and thereby considering the two triangles, triangle PSQ and PSR and by establishing the relations between angles, we can prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. So now let us consider triangle PQS and triangle PSR. In these triangles, sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees in a triangle we know. So let us write angle SQP plus angle PSQ plus angle QPS is equal to 180 degrees. Let us let this be as our first equation and in triangle PSR let us write the sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees they, thereby we get angle SPR plus angle PSR plus angle PRS is equal to 180 degrees. Let this be as our equation 2. Now as on the right hand side of both the equations we have 180 degrees as common we can equate the left hand side which is nothing but 
angle SQP plus angle PSQ plus angle QPS is equal to angle SPR plus angle PSR plus angle PRS and he has given that angle QPS is equal to angle SPR so on left hand side and right hand side this will be got cancelled which implies angle SQP plus angle PSQ is equal to angle PSR plus angle PRS which implies here let us make the subject as angle PSQ on left hand side which is equal to angle PSR plus angle PRS minus angle SQP let us mention separately it in a bracket as we just need the relation between angle PSR and angle PSQ in the first given we have that PR is greater than PQ so the angles opposite to the smallest side will be smaller and angles opposite to the largest side will be larger from the given relation that PR is greater than PQ we can say the angle opposite to PR which is nothing but PQS or SQP is greater than the angle opposite to PQ is angle PRS as angle SQP is greater than angle PRS we can write angle PRS minus angle SQP is less than 0 so now considering the equation that angle PSQ is equal to angle PRS plus angle PRS minus angle SQB this whole term will be less than 0 that means angle PSQ is got by subtracting angle PSR from certain value which is greater than 0 therefore angle PSQ will be less than angle PSR which can also be written as angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ finally we got angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ which we are required to prove